Hi everyone, I'm your mistress of manifestations and welcome to my YouTube channel. Cheers! This is going to be a reading for the zodiac sign of Aries for the rest of Feb. So how are you doing Aries? How is everyone? How was your Valentine's Day? Did you receive love from not just your romantic partners, but also from your family and your loved ones? I'm sure you did. So Aries, this is a general reading. So not all the messages here are going to resonate with you. But if it does, just claim it. If these messages confuse you, I want you to go to Google free birth chart calculator, put in your birth details, find out where your moon, where your Venus, where your Mars, where your North Node, where your Ascendant is. Go to my channel and watch all those readings because then you will have additional messages, additional information for whatever problem you are seeking a solution to. So I'm going to just start by taking a few cards from my Gilded Reverie to give us like a base, you know, um, what this reading could be about. Just maybe two or three cards for my Aries. How's everybody's health? I'm sure all of y'all are keeping safe and healthy. Your cards are sticking. If there is anybody who is not, I am sending you healing light and blessings for health, for a speedy recovery for you or any of your loved ones who are feeling under the weather. So let's see the cards that we have. You have the moon. You have the sun, you have like the two biggest, you know, the dignitaries in our sky that we see every single day. And you have the key. You know, it's very interesting. The moon is the feminine energy. And that's why I want you to check your moon's your moon placement and watch that reading too. It tells you about your feelings, about your family life, how you're feeling internally, your emotional health. And the sun is a masculine, feminine energy. I wonder. <clears throat> If there is a masculine energy and a feminine energy who are coming together, and there's going to be a solution for them coming together. I wonder if this is what your reading is going to be based on Aries. So far, I love it. Let me just give you a few more messages about this moon. But I feel that there is some kind of a feminine energy here. Okay. This could be moon in Cancer. Now, when the moon card comes out, the moon is about your fears. The moon is about hidden your subconscious, things which are not on the level, which are deep within. This could be repressed fears. This could also be a very, very feminine or a motherly energy. This could be your intuition. You know, your ajna could be opening up and you could be able to receive messages from other realms, Aries. This is emotion. This is your fears. This is also your fantasies. This could also be your repressed emotions and desires. Okay, but... I'll tell you one thing. I feel that some of you, you are showing up as a very, very feminine energy. And I feel your intuition is opening as in you are able to now receive knowledge, esoteric knowledge, signs, symbols. There is something going on in that realm. And maybe your third eye, your Ajna is just organically opening. And you are understanding a situation better, which is definitely emotional in nature. Or I could be talking to a very, very feminine energy who is trying to manifest the sun in her life. Now the sun for me, look at the sun. There is nothing like the sun. Now, before I forget, this is moon in cancer. So you have cancer. You can go and check your cancer reading if you like, Aries. The sun represents vitality, represents good health. So on the other hand, if there is somebody here, a mother, a feminine energy who's not feeling well, this is health. Solutions, health. This is available to you too. Now. The sun is a card of victory, okay? This is Leo, you know, and Leos love to shine. They like to be on stage. They, they you know, are a bit of a show off. So that's okay. This is happiness, victory, success, warmth, and power. So I like this card. For me, I also feel that because the moon is about secrets, moon is about secrets or things which are hidden, the sun coming out tells me that a light is going to be put on matters that were hidden and that is going to give you a solution. And this is Venus, okay, in Taurus. See how powerful Venus is in your reading because Venus represents love. It represents luxury, money, wealth. 
And as you can see, there is a heart that's locked here in this cage. I feel there are two people who are trying to manifest each other. I don't know if you've kept your cage locked up in a heart and <laughs> your heart locked up in a cage, but something or somebody is coming in to break that and give you the solution. If there is a health problem, I see a solution too. Especially there is a motherly figure who's not feeling well. There is some vitality and a solution to your health, Aries, okay? And if there were some things that were hidden and you had no information about it, the light of the sun is coming and dispelling all the darkness, bringing clarity and a solution. So this is a mini reading that we started with. Now I'm going to take my Gilded Tarot. And I'm going to give you additional messages. I'm also going to be taking other decks as we go along. Aries, uh, I'm going to do my best to give you messages for health, for your money, work, of course, love. What else is there, right? So, you ready? Okay. It's for my Aries. Aries, Aries, Aries. Powerful Aries. Boss Aries. The fool Aries. Okay. And your cards are ready. Aries. For my Aries. Aries, okay. No, 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 no. Have the deck. Not done. Okay. Just keep these two cards here. Yeah, this is about a home. You know, the moon in Cancer, whenever the Cancer comes out, Cancer is your fourth house, Aries. And the fourth house is about your home, family. Aries, please. Aries. Something has been a very heavy burden here. Very, very heavy burden. I'll tell you what. I'll start. I'll take one more card. I just have seven. I want to take one more card here. It's very interesting that, you know, both the sun and the moon came out from the gilded. Very, very nice energy. I feel that there has been some secret or some kind of a darkness. Aries. All right. Okay. I am talking to, remember I told you this is a masculine and feminine energy. This is a husband and wife or a masculine and a feminine energy because look what is here, the four of wands and the 10 of cups. I am talking to a couple here, Aries. Put yourself in whichever role you fit in. Do not go by the sex of the cards, please. Go with the energy. I am talking to a couple here. A marriage. Four of Wands is happy events in a home. Home. Look, Cancer is again the card of home. So this is Moon and Cancer. So I need you to watch the Cancer reading, please. Okay. This is happy events in a home. This is this is you being able to lay foundations in the 3D, as in manifest a home, a family. Look, there is a couple with a child. And there's a little rabbit here, you know, and that means there is potential for more growth because rabbits multi multiply the fastest, right? So you've built a home. You've, you've created a stable foundation. This is, this is your 10 of cups. This is your 10 of cups. Now, I'll give you a message. Either there is somebody here who wants to create this, both these things in their life, or this is, I'm talking to somebody who has already created this. The Ten of Cups is just, you know, happiness on steroids. I mean, there is a home, there's a picket fence, there's a dog. I mean, you have everything. Has somebody lost something? Has there been a loss? See, five is always a number of imbalance, okay? Five is not, you know, of well, both the sides are not balanced. Has there been a loss in this situation in a home uh, where there used to be happiness? This was your wish fulfillment because 10 of cups, four of wands is amazing. This card tells me that there has been a loss as in, and if you see this person is just focusing so much on what has been spilt these cups. 
I think there has been some sadness in a home, uh, in a situation where we, this involves a family. This is, uh, you know, you have your, what is that called? Your husband, your wife, and the children. This is a whole family situation where there has been some kind of a loss. And somebody here, I don't know, put yourself in this energy. If you are this person who is unfortunately going through this, you are not able to look up, okay? You are stuck in this energy of grief. You're not over someone. This is a pity party. This is being extremely sad. You are just not able to release this pain. But there are still some positives in this, in this whole uh, loss which has happened for you because as you can see, there are two cups behind. There are two cups behind you right here. That you are so focused on what you've lost that you are not able to function. I'm talking to somebody, okay, who has had a loss in a family situation where what was once your happy home, I'm getting this word demolished. I don't know why. It's been demolished. You know, what you've built brick by brick has been torn apart brick by brick. And today it's all scattered in front of you. And you are focused on that. And you are refusing to look up. You are obsessed with this. And you're obsessed with your grief. And are you looking for a solution? I don't know if you're looking for a solution to release your heart from this cage of pain that you've created. But if you notice the divine is asking you to look behind because there are still some positive things remaining in this particular situation. Now, this was something that you worked very hard, very, very hard. This individual, I love this card. When I see the three of pentacles, you know, pentacles are your money. It's a money card. It's a money energy. So three is always you expecting growth and collaboration, expecting something to blossom, to bear fruit. And you are working with your hands. You have worked hard at this relationship or this marriage. And you have put in, you know, blood, sweat, and tears. You've worked with your hands. You've got your hands dirty and created this beautiful relationship, this home, whatever this was for you. And you've worked, look at this person. They, I mean, they're working so hard. They look tired. And they're still standing strong there and continue to work. You we're not afraid of putting in the work in this relationship. But you were expecting some kind of a growth. You were expecting some kind of an agreement. You were expecting some kind of a compromise or for a hope that this thing would grow bigger. Okay? But you've put in a lot of hard work. A lot. I don't know why this started to feel so heavy. And again, the moon is here. You know, Feel this is some secrets. Whenever I see this card and I see that this person is carrying this, this huge burden on their back, I mean, they're almost bent over. At any given point, they're going to fall flat on their face. Have you been carrying the weight of this relationship? Because five is always, again, a number of imbalance for me. And Aries, something tells me that in a happy situation in a marriage, in a relationship, which, you know, th th this is a committed relationship. I'm talking to somebody like that. Somebody has been feeling that this has been a burden on them. Now, this gives me two messages, either that this is a burden of carrying the weight of this relationship, as in you were paying for the bills, you were taking care of the home, you were, you know, you were doing your best. You were doing your best. Why did it get so heavy? And as you can see, there are these two beautiful reindeers here. So there were people there to help you, but you did never reached out to anybody. You did not reach out to anybody. You carried this whole burden on your own. And you are at a point of being overwhelmed and exhausted. You're trying to do everything on your own, everything. You're not asking anybody for help. And again, I feel that this moon, some kind of a secret was found out by you. Because the moon for me is, you know, not just your fears, but is also hidden information coming to light. Coming to light. The sun is that. So did you find something out? I just wonder about this. Now, I'll give you two messages. 
two cards, your next two cards. One is your eight of swords. This person has kept themselves stuck and you have the eight of pentacles. This card is a card of doing something over and over again to perfect a skill. And whenever I see this person sitting here in the night, you know, the, the, the night lamp is on and they're working so hard. They're learning a new skill, yeah. They could be getting in, doing a new course. This could be you, Aries, that you're taking a new course or learning a new skill, yeah. But when this card of repetition comes, I feel you've been trying your best to keep this relationship afloat. And you feel that you are not getting anything back from this person. Hence, you are the one who is staying up, you know, figuratively all night long, you know, speaking. Or you're the one who is on overdrive working hard to fix things in this relationship. It's like you are not getting any help from your better half. And when I see this individual sitting here, I... I also get another message that there is somebody who's doing something over and over again, repetitively. It's like, and whenever there's a, there's a little monkey sitting there too, right? No, this little rat, I'm sorry. I, I also feel that when I see the little rat sitting here, I thought it was a monkey, I'm sorry. It's like something, you know, a rat is not a nice energy, right? A rat is something that destroys stuff. I wonder if there's something that has kept you awake at night, destroying your mental peace. I don't know why I'm getting this. You Have you been repeating this cycle with this person? It's like a karmic cycle because you are married or you are in a committed relationship. Have you been trying to fix something over and over again, trying to find a solution? But this person has some repetitive habit that is very hard for you to make them break free from. And when I see this person sitting up at night, you know, today we don't have, you know, these kind of desks and boards. We have, uh, what do you call, our laptops. So is somebody sitting repetitively on their laptop at night and doing something that you're not happy with? Or there's something going on here, some kind of a repetitive habit that you are not happy with that perhaps your beloved or the person you love is doing and it's bothering you. And the other message I get is you have been around this mountain repetitively in the cycle with this individual trying to tell them, I'm not happy with this. You got to stop this, but I don't think it's working. You feel trapped. Why do you feel trapped and stuck? Is it because of the children? You feel trapped. You feel like you're a prisoner, but these are your own thoughts, your own fears. You feel, you have convinced yourself that you're a victim. I feel this. You are so much in your grief. You feel confused, bound and trapped. And you're just focusing on what is lost. You know, I'm going to take some more uh, cards after this. But I have two more cards for you. One, of, one is the Ace of Pentacles. This is money on steroids. This is money coming from God knows from the sky. Perhaps you were hoping to manifest money because you have a business with this person too. And the judgment. This for me is, you know, Archangel Michael coming in and blowing that horn, you know, tooting that horn and waking you up. This is Scorpio. Please check your Scorpio reading to Scorpio and Cancer, uh, Leo, Taurus too. This is second chances. This is help from spirit. It's an awakening. Just when you thought it was over, there is a rebirth. Okay, I feel there are there is a couple here who's struggling in a home. And there has been some kind of deceit or some kind of darkness in a home. And it's it's been like a heavy burden that somebody is carrying. Okay, and they have reached a point where they have given up. And they're refusing to even look up now. They're so focused on their sorrow. But just when they thought it was over, I think there is going to be a resurrection, a second chance given. <clears throat> Things are coming out. Again, I feel this moon, the secret. And when I see this card of this person carrying this burden and this moon behind, there's been a secret that you know, which has been a very, very heavy burden for you to carry. And this time, okay, spirit will make the decision and correct the imbalance. They will set the balance right. It's a very, very critical moment for you. 
Aries. Okay. There's going to be a second chance here. Can okay, those who haven't done right will be given their judgment. And I think this time spirit is in charge. They are going to give the correct justice and judgment in a situation. And I think, I am convinced, in fact, that this is about a home. This is about some secret that has come out in a home about somebody's repetitive habits. I don't know if this person's repetitive habits, okay, of constantly doing this thing over and over again has led to a loss of money and to the loss of a happy home. I think you've had losses in both money and love. Now, I'm going to take my situations, Tarot. Let's see what other messages I can give you, okay, Aries? Uh, this is a deck with just basic messages. So let's see what else comes out. Okay, Aries, let's go. This is for my Aries. Aries, please. This is my Aries. Some more messages for my Aries, please. There has been unhappiness in a home, secrets in a home, and somebody has felt that finding out these secrets has been a burden for them and they've kept themselves stuck. They've been a prisoner, a prisoner in this relationship. So, Aries, please. My Aries. My Aries. Archangel Michael is here again. That makes me very happy. Yeah. I want to start with this card. Archangel Michael is here. Please check the Scorpio reading, okay? He is calling judgment on some wrongdoing that has been done in a relationship. He is waking you up because you've stayed stuck or you've kept yourself stuck in a situation and you know that it was very easy for you to break free but you kept yourself stuck and i know why and i'll tell you this is protection prevented from harm divine intervention i think your angels could only take so much they couldn't see you suffer anymore this individual that you're dealing with this has got something to do with the internet because i feel whenever this card comes out i told you the eight of Pentacles, you know, it's somebody staying up at night and doing something online. I don't know what they're doing. Internet plugged in. And they're doing this repetitively, perhaps every night. Perhaps they have, they, they talk to a lot of people online. Are they dealing with many more people? Are they on dating apps? Okay. I wondered, and they're doing this over and over again. I'm getting that message too. And when you talk to this individual, Okay, I think they're very, very drastic. Maybe they perhaps just get into their car and drive off or they leave the house and throw tantrums. You're dealing with somebody very, very childish, extreme, harsh, and cut off. And you know, I'm getting a message. This is a family. This is a home. So if one of you, I don't know, the divine masculine or the divine feminine is in this energy where they are, you know, uh, doing something repetitively online. And then when you confront them, they are drastic and they drive off. It's extremely childish because you cannot sustain a home like that. Has that been your burden where you're dealing with your child and your partner who's doubly childish? You've also had a business together. I know this. And you've suffered some kind of loss in money too. I don't know if this person's addictions, whatever they're doing repetitively online is costing you money. I feel this now. I'll tell you why you've kept yourself stuck in this situation, even though it's heavy, okay? This is how you feel in your life. You're carrying the burden of their bullshit and you're carrying the burden of this whole family, this business. This, this marriage is on your shoulders and you feel like this. Helpless, exhausted, overburdened, overwhelmed. And you've kept yourself stuck with your thoughts, with your fears. The moon card is very, very strong. Yeah, please watch the cancer reading because you've kept up threatened and embarrassed appearances. You know, this is, I think I'm getting this, 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 this. You watch your previous Aries readings on my channel too. I'm getting, I'm, I'm channeling somebody here who's very tradition bound and they're scared to break free from tradition, even though it's killing them. I'm sorry to say it like that, but it's killing you. Can't go on like this. 
gonna fall flat on your face. I think it's affecting your health too. Please take cognizance of this, please. Threatened. You've stayed because of threatened and embarrassed appearances. You've stayed in this relationship to keep up this. You're done. And I think this done is the solution. You're done. You're done. And for me, this done is also Archangel Michael coming in and the judgment. All this equals to done. You're done. You've learned your karmic lesson, completion. I'll, I'll give you a message here directly, okay? You have been stuck in a situation with somebody who has had some toxic habits that they keep doing repetitively because that eight of pentacles is a card of repetition. And when the word repetition comes in, it means going in a cycle round and round that same mountain of bullshit and crap. And you've tried your best to negotiate and talk to them because I feel you are somebody who is so well put together. I'm talking to a very, very strong, either feminine energy and I'm getting feminine who is a mom, a business owner, takes care of the home, does everything. You are dealing with somebody who's childish, okay? And you're dealing with somebody who's very, very drastic and extreme harsh, cut off. And I'm going to say stupid, but when you catch them, like, why are you doing this again? I mean, come on now, this is disrespectful. That's what they drive off. Bye-bye. Like what? Don't you want to sit down and have a conversation? What's going on here? You're tired. You're really tired. I know you're tired. And it's affected you because you don't, you don't want to give up on this. Because you believe in traditions. Get yourself tied up. Archangel Michael says, enough. You are not responsible for somebody else's stupidity and their behaviors. Stop keeping these threatened, embarrassed appearances. I'm talking to somebody who's very, very traditional. For them, marriage is for kids. It doesn't matter what people do. But you can't go on. I'm telling you, you, you are at a point where you're going to have a breakdown. I'm feeling physical stress, mental stress, exhaustion. And all your fears, you know, are coming up to the surface. And there's something that has been done in the dark of night. Maybe you caught them doing something online. I don't know. Maybe you did catch them doing something online and the light was thrown on that, on their deeds. I don't know what they're doing. I'm going to take another. Uh, I don't know what they're doing online. They could be connecting with somebody from their past. I'm getting this too. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I feel they're connecting with somebody from their past. Uh, perhaps, I don't know. Online chatting with somebody that they, they had another. See, I'll give you another message I am getting here. I have the four of wands and the ten of cups. This is a marriage. This ten of cups, no, sorry. This is the four of wands. This is marriage. But are they hoping for a ten of cups with somebody else from their past? See, what I mean is, was there somebody else who was their wish fulfillment? I don't know if they're talking to them and, you know, it's pissing you off because you're catching them doing this over and over again. And you're like, hey, you know, you got to stop, man. Enough. You're married now. We're together. There's somebody here who is fixated, you know, repetitively doing something. And I think they're connecting with somebody online. Aries, please. Can you give me some more messages from my Aries? There is somebody here who's in a marriage. This is a long-term commitment. I'm talking to a couple. I knew this because there's, you know, talking to a couple here. This is a marriage. This is a marriage. I don't know. I don't know this lust and desire. Who are they doing it with? I think they're doing it with somebody online and they have this, uh, um, it's just, it's just sex. I don't think there is too much of emotional involvement here. It's just sex. So either they're on websites which have this, you know, this, this kind of, this, this, I don't know, the sex-based websites, or they're, they're, they're watching something which is uh, pornographic. I don't know, but it's got something to do with this lust, lust. And I think they, 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 they just, 
they have some kind of sexual uh, kinks. I don't know, which they feel that you can't, you know, take. I don't know. Look, I'm just going to, I'm sorry. I'm just saying stuff that is coming to me. I'm just going to deliver the messages. And you've been pretending, yeah. You've been pretending. I'll give you another message with this. This person and their addiction has cost you a lot of money and you have spent more money than you can afford to, to keep up you know, with the Jones. You bought this car, you bought this, you've taken these vacations and you know you can't afford it. And on top of that, this person has made you lose money. You've been pretending and living beyond your means in terms of your money and you've been pretending to be happy in your relationship. Both are fake. You're deciding to do this, you're done. You're done. You're putting distance, you're putting silence, crickets, non-action. You are going to bring, I am not getting a card of ending, I'll take Kipper and we'll see if we get that. But I feel you're putting, you're putting, you're putting uh, distance and silence between, these, between you and this individual. It's like, you know, the sound waves go silent. There's going to be no communication now between you and them. No communication. And this card of judgment, I know it's not justice, but maybe, maybe your spirit guides and angels, Archangel Michael is coming in and he's going to give judgment on this. Okay? And this is a card of second chances too. So maybe they're going to come back to you and want a second chance with you. I'm getting this message too. It's up to you. He is going to show you who is wrong. And I think he has already shown you. It's up to you. You have free will. But you're done. I feel this. And you're going to put silence between them because you're sick of them. I don't know. I don't know if this meeting, two or more people discussing planning is something about work, where you need to go to a place, you know, and this is a card of a car, you know, forget the words on it. Are you driving for a meeting? Though that thing keeps beeping. <laughs> driving to go for a work meeting? I think you're moving away from a place. I feel this. Aries, you're leaving a certain situation, a certain life behind with a certain fake person a lifestyle and you're moving, you know, and I think you're very, very well organized with your finances and your life. It's just your mental health, your emotional stability, your fears, which are driving you nuts today. Okay. And this particular job or this meeting, if you are moving, bringing in your soulmate, similar friendship, romantic partner, maybe there's going to start off as a friendship and you do know Archangel Michael, that's his jurisdiction. Soulmates, that's his, uh, what's that called? You know, his portfolio. And he's seen you suffer somewhere where you thought this was going to be your 10 of cups. But this person wants their 10 of cups with somebody else. I feel this. I can't shake that message off. And they have been talking to this other individual repetitively over and over again, night after night, staying awake, perhaps. You know, and when I see this little, uh, you know, this uh, eight of pentacles where somebody's got this little lamp, you know, it's almost like they're seeing something in the dark, plugged in the internet. Who are they talking to online? You need to check this out, Aries. Please. Okay? I have this message for you. You're going towards your soulmate. Archangel Michael is bringing him in. And you have no idea he's protected you and prevented you from harm. This judgment has been divine intervention. Because you have done your best. And I think you've not been able to break free from this tradition-bound relationship because you are somebody who's very, very traditional. You believe that there is a husband, there is a wife, there is a child, no children. And you just go on pretending. Keep up embarrassed appearances, but I think it's affecting your health. It's already affected your finances. I'm going to take some kippers. Let's see what kipper can add, okay? Um, I can... Hi, my God. The first card just fell out and I, I'll show it to you. I couldn't even say anything and it's right here. Hi, Kipper. Oh, my. Oh, my Aries, please. My goodness. Okay, I got it. Guys, this is a marriage. This is a couple. I knew it. I know I'm talking to a married couple here. You know, remember the card of, uh, where is that commitment? 
this is a marriage this is a marriage this is a committed partnership guys the four of wands this i'm talking to a couple the sun and the moon this is a couple okay where there has been theft now you know this card of theft when it comes where's why am i keeping this here sorry one moment please there's so many cards on my on my table okay so see this card of theft this little naughty little rat here is stealing in broad daylight and there's a woman looking i feel something has been happening right under your nose i can't shake this off right under your freaking nose right under your nose somebody you know i'll read this card another way somebody was pretending okay was wearing a mask and they were pretending to be something that they weren't this is theft this is also a warning of loss something that you hold of value you know be careful could be taken away or someone close to you is abandoning you or betraying you I feel somebody has been doing something wrong under your nose. I feel this. And you just caught them. And you realize that they have been fooling you or cheating you for a long time. Right under your freaking nose. Right under your nose. Pretending to be something else. Giving you the spiel about love. When they, they were cheating you, yeah? emotionally physically i think this theft card here and i see this other woman standing and laughing getting a very mean and vicious energy i don't know who you're dealing with you're dealing with somebody who who is distorted in their head they get joy out of i don't know if i should say that they get joy out of tormenting and torturing you and they have cheated under your nose knowing that is going to hurt you they know it because this is this tells me that is i'm getting so many messages you found out you're done and i think they've done this many times the only reason you stayed was because of the child and this is a leo card you know um because of this child that's the only reason you kept yourself stuck in this situation you know i think you knew that there was something this person has uh this kind of a nasty streak and you knew that they were they have a lot of you know so called flings online but you thought getting married to them would you know and settling down would help you know i, I first want to tell anybody who thinks that it doesn't work like that a leopard cannot change his spots unless there is really love and a real genuine want for a person to change their shitty habits they're not you kept yourself stuck because of a child because of a child i also feel that there is somebody who's very naive and child like yeah and somebody fooled them yeah and has been fooling them repetitively over and over again right under their nose right under their nose and i think it's not just uh, doing something online it is also money it is also money because this theft card this guy is stealing something precious from them so it could be a loss of money to maybe they've been siphoning money out of your account please check all that i'm getting this message you are going to us jurisdiction so this is every time it beeps you know this is archangel michael coming in and giving judgment and this time they are going to give judgment okay archangel michael is here okay you're going towards some kind of a court system i'll give you another message i'm getting okay aries if if you are scared that they are going to steal your child away from you they're not they're not he's not going to allow that do not worry if you scare that they'll steal your child from you they won't be able to 
they may try. Okay. They may try. They won't be able to. I told you you're moving. Sakara moving. Somebody's packed their bags and they're moving. Somebody here is moving away from this. Just putting silence and just moving away. Okay, you're perhaps taking your child. You could be in the process of getting your divorce. But you are taking your belongings. You're taking what is remaining from this relationship. And like the divine was trying to show you, you got to drop this grief, man. Drop it because there are two positives and perhaps you have two children. And again, you know, the sun and the moon, one could be a little girl, one could be a little boy. And you're moving. You're tired. You're tired. This key, this solution has been you gaining the strength to move. You understanding that you do not have to be stuck in situations out of fear because you feel, because, you know, you feel threatened as in what society will say. Society doesn't have to live your life, Aries. They have their homes, what goes on in your home. You know, I'm getting such a sad, melancholy feeling when I've, I'm talking right now because I feel your energy. You're very sad. This is not somebody who is doing the samba and waltzing out. Again, is beeping. This is somebody who is sad, but they're tired. They are tired of being stuck in a repetitive cycle of bullshit. Lesson learned. Done. Done. You are completing this cycle and somebody has been cheating you right under your nose, man. Right under your nose. I'll give you another message here. If there, if there is some jurisdiction or something about the law that you found out that this individual used to embezzle money or some theft that they have done in the past, I'm getting this message too, that you found something out about that too. Please comment below and let me know what you're going through, Aries. Please let me know so that I can understand what you guys are going through and I will respond back to each of you and set good intentions for you, okay? I promise. Now, I'm going to take some Nature's Whispers cards and some Oracle cards for my Aries. Okay. All right. These two, this is from Nature's Whispers and I am going to take, where's my heart? Angels and crystal cards, okay? Some more messages. My Aries, please. Here we go. All right. I'll start with these three. And then I'll take the nature's whispers. Smoky quads, clearing negativity. You've kept yourself stuck in a very, very negative situation, huh, Aries? I need you to cleanse your home, your space. You've cohabited, slept, eaten, you know, made love to somebody who is very toxic. They have toxic habits. They also have a history of theft or some kind of embezzlement that they've been doing. Release negativity from within and around you. You know, for me, this is a card of removing negativity from your home. Again, this is the Cancer fourth, fourth House, which is a home. That is your building, your home, your villa. And from this capsule within, you know, remove that negativity, take salt baths, play beautiful mantras or hymns in your home, pray, ask for help. Archangel Michael is already here in your reading twice. He's right here. And you know, like I always say, Archangel Michael loves a good battle. Call him to help you spiritually fight off the losers who have been trying to attack you in the spiritual realm. He'll come and whack them. Whack them, I promise you. Just call him, please. Moldavite, unconventionality. Your unique qualities are an important part of your life purpose. It's okay to feel different from others. I know what this is about. You are somebody who's very conventional. And you come from a certain, I don't know, society or a group or a people where things are supposed to be in a certain way. It's okay to be different. Unconventionality. If you are the first person who's going to walk away from something committed, so be it. Be happy. You will set an example for everybody else, other people who are suffering. Be, unconven be unconventional, Aries. Be the fool. Don't be taken for a fool. Be the fool and take a leap of faith. This is what you faced all your life with this individual. Theft of your heart, of your emotions, and even of your money. Let yourself sparkle and shine. 
beautiful. This is so Leo, just like the sun, just like the sun, dazzle people. You are guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world. You have been keeping yourself self, self, self stuck in fears, in negativity, and what will people say? It's time for you to sparkle. It's time for you to break free from this bondage and shine. Do not carry the burden or the guilt of this on your shoulders alone, Aries. There are people around you and they will help you. Archangel Michael is there too, right next to you as I speak, I promise you. Okay, let me see what your Nature's Whispers cards are. <sighs> Make a decision. Break this. Make a decision. It's time. Please make a decision. You are getting clarity. Solution. Set yourself free. And I know you've kept yourself stuck. Because of a child or children. Amplify your positive emotions. Aries, I know you've somewhere buried all that positivity because you've allowed this moon energy, these fears, Perhaps the fear of losing everything. You've kept yourself in this grief-stricken way for a long time. Break free. Set yourself free from your fears. Amplify your positive emotions. Raise your vibration. Because when you, you know, start amplifying or you know, allowing yourself to reverberate positive thoughts, positive emotions, your your oh, your whole aura, your, your frequency increases, you start to vibrate higher. And when you start to vibrate higher, you start to see things differently. Your body starts to respond differently. You start feeling better. I'm talking to somebody who's mentally depressed here too. Aries, I hope these messages helped you. I'm sure they did. Please go and check your other readings too, especially Cancer, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. Yes. And um, thank you very much in advance for liking this video, for subscribing to my channel. And Aries, I cannot wait to come back again and do another reading for you. The energies are still in the same zone. I'm hoping that the next reading, you know, you break free from this and we move ahead and go to the next chapter, okay? And I cannot wait to sit down again and do another reading for you, tell you what are the new things that are coming in. But until then, I'm going to say goodbye. I love you. And namaste. Bye.